Hi there, we're going to do a quick tutorial on sidechain compression. What is it? Why is it? And how do you do it? Check it! So I've got a track here um, with a bass that I'm having trouble with. So let's take a quick listen. Now the bass needs to sit in that track a little better. It needs to be a little funkier. You need to be, feel the bass without the bass dominating. At the moment it's kind of dominating, but not always. It's okay, so it needs compression. Um, now for those of you who don't know what compression is, there are a gazillion and one YouTube videos to show you uh, what compression is. I won't get into the basics here, um, but suffice to say, my first step in a case like this would be to bring up a compressor. Um, but we're going to go one step further and do a sidechain compression. So what is that? Let's take a look. Um, I am going to use, you need to use a compressor that allows sidechaining. Not every compressor does. The one I like to go to, funnily enough, is Logic's very own compressor that it just comes with. It's a really good compressor and it has a sidechaining function which is very simple to use. Um, so let's uh, solo the bass here and without side chaining I'm just going to show you how I would be adjusting this just as a regular compressor adjusting the threshold and the ratio um, to make it sit better in the track. So I'm turning the ratio up to somewhere around four um, and the threshold to a point where you can see the compressor is doing some work. It's, at this point it's compressing it by around 5 dB. However, I don't really just want it compressed by 5 dB. I want the kick drum to activate the compressor. So that every time the kick drum kicks, it kicks the compressor in and the minute the kick drum is over, the compressor relaxes so that the bass fills that space. It creates a little bit of a pumping idea. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to turn on sidechain over here. I'm going to choose the sidechain. Now, in Logic, and maybe it's the case in other um, doors, you need the sidechain trigger to be audio. It cannot be an instrument. So if, it's an, if your kick is in an instrument or something like that, just convert it to audio. I mean, in my case, it was in Ableton's Live. I just recorded it in. Now I have it in audio. Here it is. And what I'm going to do is select the sidechain input here to be that track that is the kick. Okay, now what you'll find is when I play this, you will see that this meter is now responding to that kick. So what's happening in effect is that every time the kick hits, it's compressing the bass and then relaxing off. It doesn't rela relax off entirely. That is determined by what you set here and, and of course what you set in the ratio as well uh, will determine how much it's being compressed. So now let's activate the kick and now listen to both of them together and I'll play around with the levels a little bit so that you can hear this effect. I, I, at first I, I'll get a little crazy with it so you can hear an exaggerated idea. Now with it that exaggerated probably comes to mind immediately a lot of electronic modern modern electronic music dance music um uh, what's that name benassi that satisfaction song that was such a big hit so many years ago is a prime example of this technique and it is used um all over the place now in electronic dance music i'm going to relax it off to get to a point where it's sounding good for this type of music Now, that's sounding pretty good. It sits in the track better than if I was just compressing. And you can adjust the release and the attack just as you would in normal compression. Um, in this case, if I make the attack really fast, it will slap that bass down immediately. I might want it a bit faster than it is now, but I certainly don't want it to snap immediately. So 
somewhere around there. And then the release will just uh, tell the compressor how quickly it has to back off once it's triggered by that kick. Basically, the longer the release time, the sort of smoother it sounds if you want a really extreme um, Benassi type of sound, then um, then you want to obviously get a shorter release time and a very short attack time. So that's basically in a nutshell what sidechain compression is. It allows another instrument in the mix to control the compressor of whatever it is you're compressing um, so that you can get something to sit in the mix a little better. And, and so let me play with all the instruments in there now how this is sounding. Now I'll take the compressor right off and you can see. You can hear that the bass is just taking up a little more of the whole vibe there, which is not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but in this case with the sidechain compression on, it's sitting in the pocket quite a bit better. And makes it funkier. So that is sidechain compression. Thanks for watching. Go take this out for a test drive. Please like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.